It was uh, very treacherous because there was trees and wires literally falling as we were driving. That's Ithaca's assistant fire chief on the department's rescue mission to Long Island. IFD's swift water response team leapt into action when Superstorm Sandy slammed the coast. Good evening, I'm Renata Steele. Now, I'm Scott Kirk. Thanks for choosing Twin Tiers tonight in HD. Now, we've also got a story tonight. Walter Smith Randolph is in Queens. That's where he grew up. He is now sending us an exclusive story from what's going on in there right now. But let's start with this group of local emergency responders. They're already back in the southern tier, and now we're going to talk about their rescue mission to Long Island. WENY-TV's Candace Cole talked to the assistant fire chief, and he's got quite a story, Candace. Yes, he does, Renata. He led a crew of six to Long Island for two days to join several other rescue teams, getting Sandy's victims to safety. And as we were a small portion of a very big picture. Ready, I just sent him out to put away some of the suits. So. Chief Sheldon and his crew from the Ithaca Fire Department Swift Water Rescue Team got the call from the State Department of Homeland Security to go on Long Island before the superstorm hit. The mission started quietly Sunday night with some minor flooding on the North Shore, but by Monday night they were called to go on the south end of Nassau County where they had their work cut out for them. Water began rushing into a local fire station turned storm shelter. Chief Sheldon's crew and others had to get 100 people out with the water rising to the second floor of the building. In this case, it was a little more nervous for me because it wasn't a typical upstate town with a river and a creek. It was literally, if we got swept away, we were heading for the ocean. Now, Homeland Security credits Ithaca Swift Water Team with rescuing about 60 people. And while tidal waters have pretty much receded, the cleanup has just begun. Live in the studio, Candace Cole, WENY-TV News.